This is a .NET framework architecture. .NET is also called as a framework. About the frameworks and languages, we will discuss more detailed uh, later. When we go for MVC, we will discuss more de uh, deeply. But at this basic level, we can say framework means integration or collection of multiple languages. .NET is not a single language. .NET is a collection of multiple languages. .NET includes c -sharp .NET, VB.NET, ASP.NET. It has multiple languages. As it is a collection of multiple languages, .NET is called as a framework. And this diagram is a .NET framework architecture. This .NET framework architecture explains what are the various components of .NET and how they are, those are arranged. In the earlier videos, we have seen several things like common language runtime, the FCL, Framework Class Library, Common Language Specification, etc. So here, those are inclusive. Check it. First, at the bottom level, we have Windows Operating System. Based on the Windows Operating System, Common Language Runtime executes. That means, the, for the Base Class Library, for ADO.NET, for ASP.NET, for any other, directly we are not interacting with the operating system. The CLR acts as a mediator between the operating system and other components of the .NET. The CLR is a common language runtime. It is an engine which executes any .NET program. All types of .NET programs internally executed by CLR only. So based on the CLR, BCL works. What is exactly this BCL? In the last video, we have discussed about framework class library. There we have several namespaces like system namespace, system.collections.generic namespace, system.text namespace, system.globalization namespace. These namespaces belongs to base class library. This base class library means all its namespaces can be used in any type of .NET program. It can be in command line application, windows application, web application, mobile application. In all types of applications, the base class library can be used. And ADO.NET also can be used in any type of application. But the difference is, ADO.NET is mainly meant for connecting to database. Exactly, we have discussed about system.data namespace, right? That namespace is called as ADO.NET. That system.data namespace contains several classes for connecting to databases. That is exactly what we call it as ADO.NET. Its full form, ActiveX Data Objects.NET. ActiveX Data Objects.NET. And uh, on the top of ADO.NET, WinForms, ASP.NET, and others we have. WinForms means Windows Form Application Development. This Windows Form application development can be done by two namespaces majorly system.windows.forms namespace and system.drawing namespace. And uh, ASP.NET is mainly meant for development of web applications that is your system.web namespace. And others means other additional new frameworks that are introduced in .NET which includes WPF, WCF, etc. About these new frameworks, we'll discuss about them later in deep in detail. And uh, common language specification is the common set of concepts that belongs to all the .NET languages such as C Sharp .NET, VB .NET, etc. About this already we have discussed earlier. Based on this common language specification, our C Sharp .NET language, VB .NET language, other languages which includes V C plus plus .NET. Visual J Sharp .NET, F Sharp, like this we have many other languages. So these are the complete set of components of .NET. This complete picture is called as .NET Framework Architecture. It's one of the interview questions. The interviewer may ask you, like, uh, show me .NET Framework Architecture and explain. So we have to draw this diagram and explain about each and every component in detail.